Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Let's Play The Long Dark. My name is Weasel and it's been a hot minute since we last played The Long Dark. Almost over two years, I want to say, and not counting the last video where I died horribly multiple times. We are back playing the sandbox on interloper difficulty and I have just spawned into the world. Uh, if we're going to have a quick look at uh, us right now, we barely have anything with us. That's pretty standard for interloper. Uh, nothing of use. We're gonna have to craft a lot and we are luckily in Pleasant Valley. It could have been worse We could have been in Timberwolf Mountain or uh, the Neo region that doesn't even have a single shelter in it So my hope is that by spawning in Pleasant Valley My unprepared ass has a chance of surviving here. It is cold Since I'm only wearing what seems to be a pullover. We need to find some place to escape this cold. And yes, we're gonna need to find some shelter. Well, first of all, we're gonna grab a few uh, sticks around. I'm not gonna be able to kill you, Bunny, because I do not have the required stone to throw at your face. But I'm gonna take a moment to pick up all the loose sticks because it's not gonna take us any time to break those down. So, how much do I know about the long dark? You might be new to this series. I played quite a bit on my channel and I have a rudimentary understanding of the game but since I haven't really played for the last two years and a lot has changed I will be missing out a lot so any tips are gonna be appreciated and chances are I'll die a lot maybe I'll survive maybe I'll die you never know especially with interloper what you're gonna come across and that wolf could just be lurking around the corner, ready to pounce at you. Eat your butt cheeks off. He's just gonna come over and he's gonna have a gentle nibble with his wolf buddies. And it's it's gonna be a great time for the wolves because they're gonna have some meat. Okay, I think that's plenty of um, sticks to start a fire. Once we have a fire starter and some tinder because we can't just start a fire with some sticks. Yeah, you, you try to just rub them against each other and start a fire. Perfect. Perfect a dead body. That's just what I needed. I was like wonder- Look at you! Look at this- look at this man. Look at this beautiful corpse. Looking way better than I remember them looking. Yeah, o only in the long dark will I say those kinds of things. Okay. Well, you did have nothing on you, making you way less pretty in my opinion. You're, you're, you're very... You could have, like, died with something on you, don't you think? Left something for me, but nope. Nothing. It's completely barren. A barren wasteland of a human. Perfect rocks. Once we get a chance to... knock a rabbit over the, uh, old noggin. And we can maybe get some meat. If my, if my throwing isn't completely off. Um, okay, three rocks. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. I wonder if you can't hit birds at this point or if they... I mean, let's be real. You're not gonna be able to hit a bird with a stone. Unless it lands, of course. And then I imagine you can. Never tried. Okay, so, Pleasant Valley. It's been a hot minute since I played this map, but there are farms around, a few structures. At least I think Pleasant Valley is the one with the farms, so I'm pretty happy. I wonder what has changed. Okay, there is, I guess, a, some sort of logging area. I do not like hearing wolves. It makes me awfully uncomfortable. But we're gonna keep walking this way because I think that's, well, look at that, our first truck. Oop, they're also our first wolf. Luckily, only one of them, so not a pack. I'll be careful. Um, it's most likely not worth going to that deer and risking almost certain um, injury. Up, oh, he's walking in my direction. I don't think he's seen me yet. And I think the farm might be somewhere. I'm gonna say in this direction, but it's it's been too long. For me to recall this area. We can just pretend that maybe I've visited this place many years ago 
came through here once, and that's why I have like the the faintest of recollections. Like, ah, didn't there used to be a farm of sorts? Okay, so I don't think we attracted the attention of the wolf. I don't think I'm ready to go closer to check out what's if there's anything in this hut. It might be worth. Might be worth if there would be like a tool in there. I just don't think. I don't think I'm ready to risk it yet. I think it would be safer to go to a house. Oh, I'm seeing in the far, far distance, right in the middle of the screen, a little silo and a bridge. So yes, the farm is in this direction. This is, quotation mark, behind the farm, quote unquote. Wow, we got ourselves a lot, a lot of, uh... oh shit, that was a wolf. That was certainly the wolf. Okay, yeah, you guys keep running, but I'm pretty sure I heard a wolf growl. Or was... Wait, that was you? You make weird noises. Man, there's a lot of bucks here. you think there would be like a female. Somewhere around, but I guess, I guess not. Well, you just keep running. You just wait until I... With a very high... Ha, huh, very high likelihood find a gun. Yeah, no, I'm probably not gonna find a rifle. Luck will have it that I will find lots of ammunition, but not the coveted rifle. Are you guys all kind of stuck? <laughs> I, I hit its leg. I just had to. I just had to throw one. It didn't do anything. For obvious reasons. Okay. Food is definitely of concern. So my hope is I can find a rabbit and yeah, hit him over the noggin, break his neck, and feast on the poor creature. Which will require A, a rabbit, B, me hitting it. And then also I don't know if you need, I feel like you still need some sort of tool to cut the poor animal open. I don't know if you can use your bare hands, I, I have a hard time believing that. but. Seeing this house over here fills me with hope that we're gonna have a good start, or at least we're gonna have a fighting chance. We lost a good amount of health due to hypothermia, um, or at least setting in hypothermia, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's have a quick look. Frostbite risks, actually, and hypothermia risk. We're not quite there yet, so going inside is hopefully going to help us out. And I wonder if anything has changed visually and gameplay-wise about the house. It, it does look similar, but every time I come back to the long dark after an extended break, something always has changed, and I love it. So, actually, yeah, this looks a little bit more cleaned up. The kitchen is, yeah, it looks more cleaned up. Textures have changed and such. All right, tin of coffee. I mean, we're set, we have, we have coffee now. I'm, I'm a very happy camper with that. Let's search the cabinets. Um, quick look, though. Um, quick look at our character. So, air temperature 34 feels like 38, meaning we are slowly warming up. Good, very good. That is what I needed. This, this is a nice place. This is where I could probably hold out the longest. And for me, it's about gaining, um, hitting certain milestones to unlock feats in this game. The only one that I have is that I am a fast runner. Okay, start fire. Oh wait, take charcoal. Perfect. Meaning we can start drawing a map, right? Um, not right now. Maybe we still need more. A note left behind. Scrawled musings of a survivor who was here before you. Bread is about two parts flour to one part water at equal parts salt and rising agent. A backer note. That's, that's very nice. I was wondering where they were. Okay, nothing in the fridge. Fridge is completely empty. So is the freezer. That's my luck, whoever was here before. Why would I break down a broom? It's a perfect, <gasps> a can opener. Well, that's a good one. Useful. Oh, yeah, no, can opener? Absolutely. I wonder what I could use this for. Okay, newsprint, perfect for Tinder. There is nothing I wanna leave behind at this point. Um, oh, perfect, we're gonna take all the toilet water. My favorite kind of water has that has that flavor of sitting in there for a while. Um, it's fine. 
Thank goodness. Cool. Some soda. A worn hoodie. Hey, we can double layer it up in this game, and that is what I'm going to do. You bet. All right, let's wear that. Plus four. Um, actually, uh, what does that give us? It doesn't really give us a lot of bonus, but it's still better than nothing. It's a double inner layer. And I will take it. Okay, before I keep going... Wait, basement entrance? I don't recall there being a basement entrance from inside the house. And that is fascinating. I think this is the entrance to the outside of the house. Very cool. Basement also definitely looks different from the last time that I played. Really digging this. Okay, let's have a quick look around while we are at it. Just take a quick inventory. That'll okay, in handy. quality tools. Yep, that will help. It is colder in here, so I'm starting to freeze again, so I'm not going to stay forever. Got ourselves some crates uh, with nothing in them, but we can break them down for wood, metal, pail. Um, yeah, I'm going to need a hacksaw. Anything in that box? Nope. Things are pretty empty in interloper difficulty. Game is not too uh, generous handing out Tools like freak uh, candy. Okay, heavy hammer. I I don't recall if we can use the heavy hammer for anything but this. um anything but um, metal working. But we're gonna have a quick look at the description. A whetstone, perfect. We can sharpen some things, and the frozen angler is great too because it allows us to research some stuff. And researching is one of the milestones you can unlock a feat for. Okay, cloth, very good. We can repair some stuff. Let's look for the other cabinets while we're at it. Nope, nothing in here. Nothing in here. And the last one reveals Is it <gasps> food or No, it's it's crunchy stuff. You put it in the in a in a, in a washer. Um, of course it's food. I mean rolled oats, honey, almonds, pecans, salt, cinnamon, and uh toco ferals. Whatever that was. Made in Canada, yes. Nope, this, this is good good stuff. Good, good stuff. Okay, plenty of chairs to break down for wood once we have the uh, appropriate tools. Which I don't have yet. Quick look in the first aid kit reveals this a bandage. Good. That's better than nothing. I'll take it. We can staunch some bleeding with that. Should it come to this? Almost certainly it's going to come to this. Okay, let's go back inside, check out the rest of the house. Because I don't want to miss a thing. Okay. Uh, we got ourselves a baseball cap. Absolutely going to wear this. Not going to do much for us, but again, if you're not wearing anything, something is better than nothing. Wait, how can I? Oh, wait, you cannot wear? Why would anyone wear one of these in the winter? Okay, fair point. Fair. Wait, it says inner layer. Why can I not wear those from my inventory? I guess I have to go this route. That's fine. Anyway. What What is the bonus we get from that? Similar to a hoodie in terms of temperature, surprisingly. Um, get a little bit of wind. Oh, actually, no other protection. Nothing. None. Nada. Yeah, that's really not impressive. At least I'm wearing a baseball hat. Baseball cap. That's important. Style points. I like style points. A book to burn. Yay. Okay, chairs. Man, this plant has seen better days, most certainly. Okay, curtains, we can break that down for more. Another granola bar on the floor. It's always important to check the floors in this game, like behind things. The developers like to hide stuff from you. They don't want you to have the nice good stuff. They want to keep it from you, so you better make sure to get it. Okie dokie. Ooh, a sports what vest. Are we here? Little little bonus, I'll take it. Also gonna wear this. I'm not going to wear to uh, wait to put this on because oh hey, giving me uh, Marty McFly vibes. I die, I, I dig it. Okay, shelf. All right, we're gonna go through the filing cabinets. I know it's not, it's not absolutely mind blowing footage. Yeah, good job, but. It's part of the experience and part of finding what we have. Okay, I guess there's nothing in this toppled over. In most playthroughs, I always found a rifle in here. I don't know if that has changed the spawning position. I don't feel like we're going to 
get our hands on one, given that this is interloper difficulty. So even if it were, at least hypothermia risk has been healed. And I'm pretty sure I went through most things downstairs. At least, oh, book. Don't forget your book. Makes great, great kindling. Yeah, that radio is not going to work. Maybe during an uh, Aurora. I never really explored Auroras too much. Since that used to be a story mode kind of thing. And I don't even know if they are part of the sandbox at this point. They very much might be. All right, let's check out the upstairs bathroom. And in our drawer we have, as per usual, nothing, but I'll take all the toilet water. Which brings us up to a gallon of water. That being said, we are somewhat thirsty, but I'm not gonna drink anything yet. I'm gonna wait until that starts to become a problem, rather than just uh, satiating my thirst right now. Uh, the towel to break down for some cloth, because you know what, I'm just gonna spend those 10 minutes to get some extra cloth, because I'm fairly certain we're gonna start repairing um, our clothing items once we're done searching through this upper level. At least, that's what I want to do. Okay. So far, so good. I always wonder what happens to these TVs if they break from the cold or anything. I doubt they do, but they're always broken like this. Like, somebody angrily smashed it. Same with the mirror. Somebody always smashes them. Maybe, maybe it's SCP-096. Not liking to see. And that's why also everyone is gone, because he's eaten them. Actually, we found that one body and it was frozen, so... Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of like drifting off on a tangent. I've been playing too much SCP Unity here. My bad. Alright, this looks a little different. Always seems that with every major update that changes the visuals a little bit, they also re uh, redecorate the rooms. Which I can appreciate because it's kind of like... It gives you a reason to visit again. It's not like the same old thing. That looks like a... Nope, that's a picture frame. It's not a book. Okay. okay. Wow. This is, this is shockingly empty. But we have a bed to sleep in, which gives us a warm bonus as well. This... Oh, perfect. I actually can break stuff down with the heavy hammer, so that's going to come in handy. And... I'm not going to do that right now. I don't have anything to cook as of right now or don't need anything to warm me up inside. But it will come in handy. I will break down some of the tables and create some broken down wood just in preparation for when we get back inside and want to start a fire real quick. But we're not there yet. Repairing our clothing would be the first big step. Okay. Nope, nothing here either. Was that all the rooms? Part of me wants to say yes. Yes. We have some reclaimed wood, so we don't even need to break anything down right now. Quick look, band the tables. Nothing there. This game is so sparse on Interloper. It's it's bad. I was really hoping for... I don't know what I was hoping for, just for a little bit more. I mean, I'm glad I have a... Uh, I have two crunchy energy bars. But we're most certainly going to have to make our own food items. Okay, uh, so it's warm enough in here. Let's have a quick look out our clothing at their current state. So our vest has 65% um, condition. This ragged hoodie is at 24, this one is at 62. We picked another one up that's at 21%. So my idea would be to actually um, harvest some cloth from this. 45 minutes, I'm not gonna spend nearly an hour to rip this thing to shreds. I was way faster using the towel. But what we will be doing is repairing this. And we do have a sewing kit. We can repair this by 30%, chance of success is 70%, and it's gonna take us an hour. Are we going to do this right now, or are we going to keep moving forward, looking for something more useful uh, at another location? Oh, I haven't lo looked at this cabinet. My bad. Not that it reveals anything of value to me. Um, yeah, Alright. My thought is, since it is still day, and we still have 
quite some time left. I'm thinking we should check out... Anything on the shelf? No. We should check out a uh, barn that is in a nearby location. Or look around us. Because I want to make use... Oh, a crowbar! A pry bar, not a crowbar. Um, totally forgot that that's out here. Um, this container doesn't hold anything. Um, I won't be drinking anything. Oops. And maybe I should be warming up inside a little bit longer, especially given how windy it is out here. But my idea is to make it over... Ooh, that shit looks not familiar. That looks actually quite unfamiliar to me. So we're going to have a look at this, but I'm going to go inside and I'm going to repair my hoodie. This bad boy at 24%, giving us... It's not going to be massive and massive improvement, but we don't really have any other clothing. And as you can see, as we are repairing, we're warming up, which is good to be warmed up before we go outside. Uh, we'll be drinking something because we're starting to be quite parched. And before we dehydrate, let's uh, use some of our uh, potable uh, toilet water. We don't have to boil this or anything. Probably came straight from a well and we drank... 0.17 gallons. It was a weird sound. But, uh, I think this is a good time to leave now. We still have plenty of sunlight left. And I will be making my way over to this hut. I wonder I wonder what might be there. Before, before I do, let's have a quick look here. Let's run over. Quick look. Okay, some rocks. There's often something hiding in here, but I guess... No luck this time, just a few extra stones. Oh good, oh good, storm is picking up. Um, we are freezing absolutely rapidly. Look, look at the temperature going down, this is brutal. Also our clothing is gonna take a beating. This is going to wear them down quite rapidly as well. I don't think we can open the silo, nope. So, so much for my plan of going out. I'm not going out during that. Ooh, scrap metal. Uh, not going out during the storm. I will be sheltering in sight. Yeah, I don't blame you. It was, it got really cold and really windy outside. We're gonna have to sit out this blizzard inside. Guess I'll make myself comfortable. And we'll have to figure out if we're going to have to spend the night here, or if just waiting a few hours is going to do the trick for us. I think I'll I'll just go, I'll just go lay down. I, I'm just going to go to get some shut eye. I just need some sleep here. Ugh. The creaking is really good, and also really scary. All right, let's get some shut eye. Just. Just, just an hour. Just, just a little power nap. How about that? Just some sleep. 